All right. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to Time Warp Art. Today we are going to work on Shannon Green's Journaling by Fives challenge. At least it's a challenge for those of us that have been doing it. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do to start with is uh, make a book, make a journal. And I think I'm going to film it in segments and stop the recording between the parts. Um, I know I'm going to have to stop and eat a snack at least once. So, and I don't know if I'll make it all the way through today, but I'll give it a good shot and we'll see how it goes. Um, hello, Jenny. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's, this is just some yarn that I've been working on. Uh, I've tweeted a picture of it all hanging on the, the rack drying. So I tend to do the similar colors at the same time. So I just thought I'd show you guys now the difference between sock yarn, which is eensy weensy. Let's see, where am I? Over here. I think I'm a camera back in the right place now and I'm lost again. <laughs> so anyway, sock yarn, which is what this is. And some thick and thin, which is what this is. And it's a whole lot bigger. This is thick versus eensy weensy. Hey, <laughs> okay. probably get an idea of how that goes. And then this one is the tail spun, which is undyed. It's straight from the sheep. And I've washed it and spun it, and the little tails hang out. No carding, no combing, just straight from the locks. That's called tail spun or lock spun or both. Either is fine. <laughs> and a finished project. And I tweeted a not so good pic of this, but this is my hat band. Uh, it hangs, this, this tail of it hangs down over my braid which is good. I usually French braid my hair. And so this hangs down over my braid and it's perfect. I love it. So it, what it is, this is mohair locks uh, and I've knitted it into the hat band. Um, let me turn it over so you can see that it's knitted and I've knitted the locks in. So pretty cool. I love this. I'm going to be wearing this during the show. Love it, love it, love it. And it goes in the box. It has a hat box and a little tail wraps around like this. <laughs> and it sits in the hat box. I love this hat. This is my very favorite hat. I've had this hat since 93, 94. Gee. 20 year old hat. What do you know about that? Well, I've kept it in a box. You know, it stays in its box when I'm not wearing it. So <laughs> I love it. Anyway, it's one of my favorite things. Then I thought I'd show you guys my medieval torture device. <laughs> this is my hackle. Okay, this is a handmade hackle. It's from Moonsong Ranch, Moonsong Fibers on Etsy. It's handmade. Uh, it's very sharp, but this is what I blend fibers with. And pull it off into roving, which I can't get my hands on at the moment. Oh, well, anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you. You guys wonder what that looked like. And, of course, I keep cover on the tines. <laughs> or else I'd probably be sticking myself. And, oh, one more thing I want to show you. I started a new project last night. And um, it's going to be an afghan. And this is the Catherine wheel stitch. Um, and it's 40, 40 some odd inches wide, but it's, it's my blankie. It's going to be my blankie. And um, this is such a fun stitch. Um, it uses like a scallop up and down and up and down. And you do one row at a time and you do half a scallop on each row. I don't know if you guys can tell between what's here and what's here. This I've started another row 
a third row. So that's what that's going to be. And this is uh, silk. What is it? Silk, uh, kid mohair, and wool. So I love this yarn. One of my all-time favorites. Okay, so that's that's my uh, fiberage for the morning. Okay. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and start our book. Uh, I want to walk you through making a quick journal. And this is the easiest, easiest thing possible. Um, what I'm using is Canson Mixed Media Paper. And as you can see, this one is empty. Um, I despiraled it and I used the paper out of it. And I'm on the last of the paper. But this is a nine by 12. This is the mixed media paper. And I figure, ah, oh, that's good. You know, um, so that's what we're using. And of course, now I have this nice heavy chipboard, which will go in the closet. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken my uh, 10 sheets. So you need 10 sheets. Okay. And what you do is just take off the uh, spiraling. And I do it two sheets at a time. So I fold it front, I fold it back, do that, put it aside. And of course, I don't have a level surface behind me. Okay, so fold it just two at a time, fold it once, fold it twice, and it comes right off. Put those down. Of course, I've done some already. Two at a time, and you get that done. And of course, save these, you never know. I have used these to make color charts uh, for my um, markers. So you take one, I'll show you this real quick, just as an aside. Rabbit trail. <laughs> so you just take your marker and just do this. Then underneath you can write your number if you want to. But then when you're trying to, to get color coordination, you, you lay this on what you're trying to match, and you can see it through the hole. So just a little little uh, tip there, <laughs> as usual. I always throw at least one in there somewhere. But I save those. Uh, they can be collaged. You know, I mean, you can put threads through them, use them for, for yarn, your embroidery floss, you know, any of that stuff. Okay, so back to the book. Get off the off trail here. Okay, back to the book. So what you're going to do then, I like to make sure I have all of my um, edges the same. So all of the um, edges that have just come off of the, that I've just torn off of. Okay, I want to make sure they're all at the top. Because I want to have them all going the same way because that's just how I am. You don't have to, but that's just the way I do it. Okay, and then I will fan fold these so they're splayed out. Then I will take one at a time, scoot it where I can see the edges, and I'm going to fold them in half. Bone folder. Set it to the side. Take another one. Just fold it. Easy peasy. Everybody can do this. Your eyes closed almost. <laughs> the reason I'm scooting it up is on the dark so I can see how to fold it. Otherwise, too hard to see the edges. It just makes it a little bit easier. And I'll look at chat in a minute, I promise. <laughs> I always forget to look at the chat. I get busy. I guess. Okay, now this is not part of the challenge. This is just getting ready. But this can be done in 15 minutes. I mean, and I've already got the others folded. So I should have 10 sheets. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and that will give me my 20 pages. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open them up and put them inside each other. So you're making one big signature, okay? So you're just going to take each one, and this is how I do it because it's just like a process. It's just um, like assembly line, okay? Just open it up, open it up, 
keeping the rest in your hand really fast just like so okay got all 10 there and you have 20 pages you got 10 pages over here 10 pages over here all right so then actually you have 40 surfaces okay so they're all together okay um okay let me look at the chat for a second hey janet harriet okay so what oh <laughs> okay won't repeat that let me back up <laughs> ah geez louise okay um <laughs> I'm just reading the chat for a second. We got live people over here. People in the box, as our Barb says. People in the box. So I got my chat going on. Oh, great, Harriet. Harriet's taking a weaving class. Awesome. Hey, Sherry. Madam Secretary, good to see you. <laughs> okay, so let's move right along with our book. Okay, so um we've got our book now we need a cover okay so the simplest cover ever okay the simplest cover ever let me set that up there all right is i i noticed um in facebook oh what one or two days ago i think it was kim was wanting to know what to do with the covers from our paper pads yeah okay so there you go this one just happened to be nine inches <laughs> which is the size of my pages are nine by six this it just happened to be nine inches and of course it's a 12 by 12 so uh yeah use your covers as a cover okay so uh now on oh i got that one it's a little bit crooked didn't i i uh, yeah as i was doing this i noticed that was happening um, what you might want to do is put it on the scoreboard, you know, use your score, scoreboard to get it straight. And this one has cracked, but I have a solution for this as well. We have this stuff called washi tape. <laughs> Comes in handy for so many things. So I'm going to grab some washi tape with some clocks on it. Okay. It goes with my theme. This has the theme of this paper. It has clocks on it. So I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and just put it on the edge. If I can find the end of it, that is. There it is. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to take this piece of washi tape. And I'm just going to run it down here past where I ripped it so I can fix it. All right. So I've got this on here. And I'm going to grab a tool over here. I mean, I could just get scissors, you know, but this is more fun. <laughs> Learned this from watching Kathy Orta. And I don't remember who showed it to her, but anyway, there we go. And this little piece of tape, see, I have a little piece of tape left. I'm going to stick it over here. Behind me is another counter. So I'm going to stick it on there because that counter is covered with craft sheets. So I can pick that up and use it later. All right, I'm going to hang my tool back on the board so I don't lose it. Okay, so here's my washi tape that takes care of the cracking. Okay, so then you take all your pages and just shove them in your cover. And there you go. Now, you'll notice that because your, your signature is thick, it's not going to fold exactly. So what I did was I took the cover and put my sheets in it, okay, and folded it where it needed to be to have a complete cover, okay? But it did leave that edge on the back. So you can cover that if you want to. You can add a piece to it. You can add a double strip of tape, you know, whatever you wanna you wanna do. So you can, you can mess with that. Okay, so um, you can also take, of course, scrapbook paper, right? Same thing, you know, with the scrapbook paper. So you have your cover and yeah, you're gonna have that little bit back there, but it doesn't bother me. <laughs> it doesn't bother me a bit. All right, let me put my washi tape back in the 
thingy before I lose it all on the floor because I tend to be a klutz sometimes, unintentionally, of course. All right, so now you've got your signature. Okay, your whole book is together, okay? You know which way is up, you know, which way is in, out, whatever. So now what you're going to do, you're going to get your handy dandy pokey tool. All right, and you're going to make two holes. Now make sure it's locked. Okay, that's locked. Now, uh, about, oh, two inches in, you're going to poke a hole through the whole thing. Okay, through the whole thing. And exercise it a little bit. All right. Now, <laughs> I love it when I have energy too. <laughs> it's one of those good days. <laughs> Get lots done. All right, so you got two holes, okay? Y'all can see the two holes, right? Hole, hole, through the whole thing, all right? We're doing what's called pamphlet stitch, which is really, really easy. And yeah, it's sewing, but it's not a big deal. Okay, not a big deal. Okay, so you want, I got, I just have crochet thread and I keep little balls of it in a little pill container with a hole in the lid. And I keep several inches coming out at the same time, you know, all at once. And you just pull however much you think you need. And in this case, I'm not gonna cut it yet. I gotta find my needle. Okay, so I have a book binding needle or doll maker's needle or whatever you want to call it. It's just a needle with a big, let's see, uh, I'll use the overhead light. Let me see if I can catch it. Okay, it's just got a big old hole in it. There, I think you can see it. Anyway, it's just got a big hole. Not a, not a, you know, not a hard thing. Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, they all have these things. And they don't have to be this long. I mean, this is just me. I have these things already. So, all right, so what you're gonna do is, uh, and at this moment, you don't need to know which way's up. It doesn't matter when you're stitching like this. So what I like to do is I'll go from the inside, out the back, from the outside to the inside through the other hole. This is the tricky part. Okay, if you have trouble uh, getting your pages to stay, just put two clips on it, you know, uh, clothes pens, you know, any clips you have. Just put two clips on it. Okay, so now we've got one thread running on the outside of the, the book, and we've got a thread on the inside. Now, this is the part where you take off the needle. You don't need that anymore. And you're just going to tie. I don't want to waste that much. Uh, thread there. Okay, you're just going to tie. Okay, so you just do an overhand knot. And you hold it down. See, this is the tricky part. Okay, sometimes putting it next to the hole helps to hold it. Don't ask me why, it just does. Use my pinky, wrap that around, tie the knot, and pull. And there we go. Got it done. Okay, now I'll pull it down some. Because sometimes I like to put it in the middle, sometimes at the top. It doesn't really make any difference. And you pull it tight, but you don't want to pull it so tight that you're ripping your paper. And then I add some extra knots. Okay, and then you're going to trim that off and leave about a half an inch of thread. And you can toss that in the recycle bin because it's all cotton. Okay, so let me close your book. There's your front, you're good to go. So there you go. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on this side, ten on that side. You got your 20 pages and you're ready to go. Okay, wanna see that again? <laughs> Just to recap the tie. So yeah, magic of television, I have one already done. <laughs> Get the needle, I'm gonna show you that stitch again. Easy peasy. Whoops, your basic pamphlet stitch. You're not worrying about any signatures but one. So line everything up. Put your clips on if you need to. Down through the inside to the outside. Oh, and I just made a hole in the washi tape because I forgot that part. Oh, yeah, I gotta go through the washi tape. So I gotta poke a hole. 
so I can see it from the outside. There we go. All right, inside to the outside, around to the other hole, and back to the inside. There we go. Put your thread through, get rid of your needle, and we're going to tie again. I keep knocking stuff over, but that's okay. <laughs> go around twice. Sometimes when you go around twice, it kind of holds it a little bit better. Put your pinky down there, make your knot, pull it tight. Add some couple more knots. I usually get three or four in there. And you just tie in a knot. I mean, it's not a, you know, no specialties. Leave a half inch hanging around, put that in the recycle bin, and put that back on the shelf. And there you go. Another book. Done. And I have two. <laughs> I think I'm going to work in this one. Okay, I'll put the other one over on the side here. That one on my tray. Okay, so let's work on this one because I like this cover. So here's my book to start the challenge. And I think I'm going to end the recording and start another one. I guess how easy that is. I mean, it's, it's so simple. That's the easiest book you can make. Other than the one folded from a single piece of paper, but even that's a little complicated because you got to make the cuts in the right place. But this is the easiest thing. Oh, you don't even have to cut paper. Just tear it out of your book. You know, tear it out of your pad of paper. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. So let me uh, end the recording. So this will be the end of part one, and then we'll continue. So I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to be broadcasting. 